Good afternoon, Dingles Crypto. So I have a very exciting video for you today. We are covering Hedgic, and a Hedgic is a protocol which you can write and purchase put and call options, which is very awesome. Uh, we are talking the development that's been happening around Hedgic, which is quite substantial. And then also we're talking about the put call parity arbitrage that allows you to risk free, make a profit risk free, sorry. But let's just jump right into it. And first, let's shout out my socials, Dingle Crypto, 11 followers, the hardest ice cream on Twitter, TikTok, short little fun videos. And then Dingle's Crypto, the most important on YouTube sub right now. If you aren't, I appreciate each and every one of you. We're going to hit 200 by Christmas. So that's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. I just uh, manifest destiny, right? So let's just jump into with a price 18 cents, 55 million market cap. Circulating supply is substantially lower than the total supply. So understand that. Um, so yeah, uh, the token hasn't been out for very long. So, and also the token came out relatively quickly following the launch of the protocol. And that is because of liquidity issues. So understand that they had issues getting natural liquidity, uh, whether that's just a time, the adoption curve or their platform isn't the greatest. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. I like kind of, I like Hedgic, but it's not my favorite derivatives protocol. Um, but we can uh, talk about that later, right? Be one of the reasons why Hedgic is not my favorite is because look at this premium absolutely insane and this is a way out of the money call option like no that's one of the reasons why but um just just that's kind of why right who wants to buy a call option two weeks expiration for 41 dollars with a strike price of 800 it's way out of the, out of the money right so just keep that in mind um but this is their interface to buy and buy put and call options. You can change the amount of ETH you want to cover and then the strike price and the expiration date. So just keep that. Uh, I mean, here here's the interface. And then if you want to add liquidity and earn our Hedric tokens, which is a Hedric token, a, a guaranteed Hedric token in a future on a future date. And I'll get into the parameters of that Hedric token here shortly. Actually, is it next? Nope. This is just Hagician Finance. It was a, a third-party developer created this. It's a good little uh, staking interface to keep track of your gains and liquidity that you're providing Hedgic. So if you're providing liquidity, you might want to use this, uh, this uh, interface as well. It's a nice little interface. But uh, here is the R Hedgic standards right here uh where is it uh, where's uh during phase dang okay here we go so one r hedgic equals one hedgic and r hedgic is re their reward for rece received uh, for providing liquidity right and here's the two uh parameters right here phase one exceeds 100 million or a little over, a little less than one year so here's the two parameters so and it will be once these milestones are reached you will be able to transfer our hedgic to hedgic over what's that six months six months six months so just understand that our hedgic you can trade on uniswap right now uh, is obviously less than hedgic but understand they are going to merge whether that's hedgic price going down or our hedgic price going up that's the gamble you're taking. I mean, it's it's a gamble, right? So just understand that. Uh, DeFi Pulse is our. I mean, Hedgix looking good, moving up in uh, DeFi and value lock, but also understand that so has the price of Ethereum and Bitcoin and everything. So that's one of the reasons why the value has been going up as well. I'm just trying to be as neutral and transparent i am with my opinion because um i mean there's a lot of variables i mean we can be bullish 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 i'm bullish but just understand 
all the variables that goes into things, right? So yeah, the value has gone up, but also the price of all the assets underlying. So just, hey, uh, so that's just one of the variables. So here's the pr uh, value proposition of the Hedgic token. Uh, so one thing I do like is, is uh, the cash flow model of these protocols. So in the real world, you buy stock and the stock represents company, part of the company and the dividend is part of that cash flow that you get. So the company generates cash flow and this ca cash flow is basically the value proposition of that company because because you need cash flow as a company and these protocols are companies just on the ethereum blockchain and ethereum is its own digital country right and each protocol is a business in that country so if you partake in one of these protocols and i think a lot of them are going to start having cash flow models to reward their token holders i think that's kind of the next fad so keep an eye on that and make sure you're like Uniswap. I think Uniswap V3 is going to provide uh, it's kind of a dividend to their token holders. Uh, that's my prediction. Um, but I think stuff like that will start coming out. And Hedgic, I believe, is doing that as well eventually. And you're going to get there's going to be a fee associated with uh, purchasing options. And um, the, it's going to get rewarded to the token holders. So that's kind of exciting. I bel if I read that correctly, um, I kind of skimmed through this, but I think that is some type of business model that's going to show its face in DeFi because I I do believe that's going to be one of the most the the easiest ways to gain a community of dedicated followers, and each protocol relies on a dedicated community, right? So. So if you're in if you're into NFTs, they just recently partnered with somebody to create NFTs for their protocol, which is kind of cool. I'm more into the financial NFTs. I think those are going to be revolutionary, and as well as these NFTs. I mean, there's very cool protocols that allow artsy NFTs, right? So that's exciting as well. <clears throat> But let's go on to what I think the partnership. Yeah, I think there's a partnership in the pipeline because the other day when I went through Urine Finance, they had all these protocols, all these different protocols did different things. But one thing they were missing was a derivatives protocol. They did have cover protocol, which is an insurance and insurance is a derivative, right? So, but they did not have puts and calls. And I think Hedgic might even introduce, hopefully, introduce like futures as well as maybe uh swaps too so other types of derivatives uh, so keep that in mind that will be very exciting and if you earn this is uh they they recently introduced or uh so ah crap i got rid of it but they may they uh had the why hedgic vault go live on your own finance or actually not live they they implemented it on the ethereum blockchain but it has yet to go live so boom they just might they just might partner with urine and if they partner with urine do you see the price of your uh, hedgic going down no hedgic price will pump so just keep that in mind uh so another thing i want to state they have anonymous team they do this is because regulation will come because these protocols will become powerful and the government does not want decentralized finance and the government will crack down on the creators and developers of these protocols so that's why they're anonymous whether that that is also scary because they can rip the rug out from under liquidity providers will they do that uh, that's what you're betting when you provide liquidity to this protocol so just understand that risk here's a nice little interface to visualize your uh your rewards right so there you go 35 percent, which is good not the best for DeFi, but it's good so let's quickly go over put call parity so what is put call parity it is basically a so derivatives are just contracts between two individuals and these two different types of contracts should have the same payoff 
they should have the same payoff schedule. So if you put these on a graph, they should have the same payoff possibilities. These two, uh, these four different uh, financial products, right? And I did a little, uh, I did a little, uh, uh, just a little tutorial. I don't, uh, I don't know, what whatever little practice round, right? The youth price five ninety, the premium of the put at the same strike price, right? And then a bond, which is basically just put your Ethereum in an interest bearing account, and then I did a one percent for four weeks and then premium of a call so you go buy it back and to this this is a different call the strike is 800 but i did that for a reason in two weeks for 42 dollars, which is a very pricey premium because i will show you exactly why ready so it's 800 strike price 590 um so it's approximately two weeks out and look at this ready this is OPYN, $5 for that put, that uh, call option. That is a huge difference. Is that because they have different, so this, this uh, obviously, there's put call parity arbitrage opportunity between these protocols. Whether they have a different payout um, for options, that would be weird, uh, but I never seen a different type of option than the traditional one so like five dollars is reasonable for 800 strike price in two weeks that's like reasonable like that's a far out of money gamble so that's why i don't like hedgic as much as opyn but that is just my honest opinion and maybe that will change in the future as well consider opyn has the possibility of dropping a token and my prediction is they will drop a token in a similar way that Uniswap did. So there's a low risk, high reward potential there for you at the end of the video if you're stay tuned. So, so uh, just keep that in mind. And that is all I have for you today. I hope you have a great end of the day and please like and subscribe. Peace.